Major ethical violations could wind up costing one local police chief his job. Good evening, I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Vicki Yates. A new report found Nolensville Police Chief Roddy Parker fixed tickets, traffic tickets for city officials. The pressure to follow the chief's orders is why one officer says they often look the other way when it involves city leaders. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail has the story. What else are we learning about this? You know, we've actually uncovered a culture of favoritism that some officers say made them feel pressured to look the other way when it came to local leaders. The police chief says it was all to keep from casting a negative light on the city, but now they may have bigger issues on the horizon. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hi. Good. How are you? Good. December 11th, 2020. The woman in the SUV is Nolensville Commissioner Lisa Garamoni, and she's just been pulled over by Nolensville PD. It's 30, so y'all were doing 53. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Routine pretty much sums up the next few minutes. Driver's license, proof of insurance, and the registration for your car, okay? Those then the, the officer asked Garamoni where she had traveled from. Okay. went to the thing at um, the Beer's house tonight with... The... Oh, was that the one down in uh, Summerlin? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I heard him talking about it. We had a couple of guys down there. Down there with Chief Parker. Okay. It was faint, but clear enough for the officer to hear Garamoni name drop his boss, Police Chief Roddy Parker. A few moments later, while the officer is writing a ticket, his partner asks about the driver. What's her last name? Garamone. Oh my God. She's one of our counties. What? She's on the board, ain't she? Is she? Oh my good gosh. Well, Chief will be calm at the what the boy to sell. Officers went ahead with the ticket anyway, figuring that whatever happens next, well, that's for the chief to straighten out. After all, it's not the first time. He already called me about one. Yes, indeed you did. The moment you sponsor a job on indeed, I wrote one of them too. Yeah, how'd that go? He took care of it, I guess. We now know that days later, Garamoni's ticket was pulled by Chief Parker after it was already written and now had the words void across the front. But there was just one other thing. Todd said, yeah, she showed up on one of their calls drunk. Two months earlier. Hey, buddy, you all right? Nolensville police responded to this car stuck in a ditch. Then we see another car drive up and Commissioner Garamoni get out. Hey, I just want to make sure everything's like, yeah. what's going on? Garamoni is now suing four people, including two, who filed public records requests to get access to this video because she says they've spread lies about what happened. The lawsuit says she was drinking at a friend's party but claims someone else was driving her car when they left for the store. They came back and found this. Is there anything we can do? Garamoni says she was concerned that someone from the party had been involved in an accident, so she asked the driver to stop. A couple minutes go by, and now we see even the driver of the wrecked car confused as to why she was there. Well, I'm just curious because, like, I'm the commissioner, so I was like... I don't know what commissioner means, so... <laughs> there was one point where we do see someone leave Garamoni's car, but from the passenger's side. When Garamoni returned to her car, she had to ask cops where her friend went. He got out and walked that way. So once again, she goes back to the driver's side before leaving. Now, listen to what police said right after. Commissioner or not, tell chief next time her is drinking and driving on the rest of her. Officers later said they never actually saw Garamoni climb in the driver's seat or smelled any alcohol. Still, her very presence didn't make much sense. Almost two years later, and after complaints from people in Nolensville, the city commission requested an ethics review. This 10-page report focused on Garamoni, Police Chief Parker, and Vice Mayor Wendy Cook Mucci, who turns out back in June of 2020, was also pulled over for running a stop sign. All right, I did start to cite you for not stopping, okay? okay. Cook Mucci was given a standard citation. The copy the courts have was written as a warning. That's clearly official misconduct. Okay? News Channel 5 legal expert Nick Leonardo says it may even qualify as tampering with official government documents, which either way could still be a felony. The fact that you have a, a police chief who is giving special treatment or favorable treatment to elected officials that are in charge of his budget uh, is very problematic. 
Chief Parker told attorneys he doesn't remember avoiding any recent citations other than Garamoni's. When asked why he did it, the 40-year law enforcement veteran said he believed he had the authority to do so. Plus, the city just went through a tense election, so to avoid any issues that could make the city look bad, it was better to void this ticket for a newly elected official. A person might reasonably interpret all this as uh, being intended to influence someone in their position as commissioners. Garamoni kept relatively quiet at this meeting while Kukmuchi tried to set the record straight. I have never once in a pullover stop said my, you know, I'm a commissioner, I am the vice mayor. I've never said anything like that. I've never even hinted at trying to get some sort of favor or that kind of thing. Attorneys ultimately found that Chief Parker may have violated state law, but that the statute of limitations for that offense already lapsed. They did conclude that all three parties violated the city's ethics policy because regardless if they knew what was happening, they accepted the outcome. Kukmuchi says she can't remember if it was a warning or not. Either way, she never paid. Garamoni eventually paid hers almost a year later and only days after the public records request was filed for these videos. Because without this body cam footage, there would I mean, no one would believe it. There wouldn't really be a story. Well, since you were 23 hours the speed limit, it's... Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you were doing what you're supposed to do. I was not. So city officials told us that last year the police department switched to an all electronic system for writing tickets to make ticket fixing much tougher. Later this week, the remaining commissioners will decide on if they want an outside group to investigate any further. Uh, Levi, talking about the commissioners, what's next for them? So the commissioners, uh, as far as they're concerned, they face censure you know, from the remaining commissioners who are on the board still. But as far as the police chief is concerned, he's not an elected official, so he could be fired for, you know, what happened. Now, Vice Mayor Kukmuchi did tell me that, you know, as far as the investigation is concerned with bringing someone else in to investigate, right. she is willing to step down if they find that she did do something wrong in this case. All right. Thanks, Levi.